Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to tell you how I put together coordinates. As a quick disclaimer, this video isn't meant to be a wiki how on how to put together a Lolita coordinate. There are a lot of different ways that one could coordinate Lolita pieces together, and I am just sharing my own personal techniques that I use when I put together coordinates. So I use three different criteria when I put together a coordinate, and that is item, color palette, and theme. So for the first criteria, item, my coordinate sometimes depends on which item that I want to wear in my wardrobe. So the item that I'm going to coordinate today is Baby the Star Shine Bright's Kumia's Anniversary Party JSK. And this is an item that I haven't worn in quite some time, but the item doesn't necessarily have to be a main piece. It could be a certain belt, a headdress, a blouse, and a variety of other items. It really all depends on what it is that you would like to coordinate. So the second criteria is color palette. As you can see in this dress, there is navies, sax blue, and pink, as well as a variety of other colors in the bears on the bottom here. So there are a lot of different color palettes that I could pull out from this one. I'm going to show a few sample color palettes that I could do with this. It can be very simple from just one color to two colors to three to however many colors that you'd like. For this dress, I'm personally going to choose a color palette of white, sax blue, and pink. Since I'm not going to be using the navy in this dress, I'm going to take off the ribbons which are luckily detachable. So another thing that I keep in mind when I put together coordinates is having a color balance. I split my coordinate into three different sections, the top, the middle, and the bottom, and I try to incorporate the color palette into all three sections. So for this particular dress, I'm going to be putting in a pink blouse because I've never coordinated a pink blouse with this dress before, and that pink blouse is going to balance the large amount of pink seen on the print on the bottom here. For the bottom, I decided to wear blue tea parties from Angelic Pretty. So for the socks, I have two options. I have a pink and white striped one, or I could do a white sock with some pink and hot pink detailing on the side of the sock. I personally am going to go with the white socks with the pink and hot pink on the side here because my color palette is that white, pink, and sax blue. So that means for the top, I'm going to try to incorporate those three colors into my headwear. So before we get on to the headwear, I wanted to talk about the third criteria, theme. A theme is pretty important. It determines what sort of level your coordinate is going to be at. Is it going to be a basic coordinate to just stay at home? Are you going to go out to a meetup, which requires a little bit more OTT? Or are you going to a tea party where you are there to dress to impress? So the theme that I've picked for today is just a casual stay at home coordinate. So we're going to keep it super casual with the headpieces. I have chosen a beret and a headdress. Notice once again, the color palette is quite distinct. It's got the pinks and the white lace as well as the sax blue. And this is pretty casual and perfect for what I'm going to be wearing this for, which is just to stay at home. All right, so I hope all three criteria made sense in terms of how I put together coordinates. So let's put this coordinate together. So I put on the coordinate and quickly noted that I was actually missing a piece of white up on top to balance it out. So I did that. However, with the socks, it still ended up looking quite unbalanced. I felt like a white blouse would have been well suited for these socks compared to the pink that I chose. So I changed out the socks to the other pair of pink and white socks that I have. This is striped. However, there is more pink on the sock. Therefore, it brought out more of the pink in the blouse and it matched a little bit better than the previous socks did. For accessories, I put on a crown necklace, which is barely seen through this lace collar, but it is there. And I also put on some blue wrist cuffs to balance out the pink and the sex. The thing I want to note is that hair and makeup can change out a coordinate. So the ends of my hair are dip dyed a darker blue. I decided to put up the hair so I can hide the blue, but also bring a little bit of fun cuteness into this coordinate. The braids tuck very, very well into the beret, and it really adds to the casual feel of this coordinate. So that is how I put together this coordinate. Let me know if you have any questions in regards to how I put together a coordinate, and if you also have any tips 
on how to coordinate, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'd love to read all about it. Thank you for watching today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!